welcome back everyone today we are going to start with Fraunhofer diffraction basically we know that the bending of light through any obstacle is called diffraction and among that what is Fraunhofer diffraction let's see that for Fraunhofer diffraction the source from the obstacle or slit is the distance is infinite and so the screen that is where the image is formed is also infinite but since we need to study the case of this front of a diffraction so we uh, need to have the observation point at some distance to see the image so that is why we use the convex lens here due to which when uh, we pass any ray of light through the obstacle uh, when it passes through the convex lens the light rays converge at a point and we get to see the image on the screen otherwise uh, if we don't use any convex lens the light rays will go on and on and it will be very difficult to study this case so uh, you can see the source of light here is at an infinite point and then when it is passing through the obstacle it uh, we passed it through a convex lens and finally the diffraction pattern is shown on the screen so this is basically the front of a diffraction now for front of a diffraction to occur there are some properties or you may can say that uh, there are some conditions so what are this the first one is the source of light and screen are effectively at infinite distance so this is the main thing in front of a diffraction as you have seen in a Fresnel diffraction that the source and the, the distance between the source and the slit and also the slit and screen is finite so uh, in that diffraction pattern that was the main thing and here the infinite distance is the main thing for front of a diffraction and the second point says that wavefront must be parallel since the distance is infinite so the wavefront that is the waves each and every wave should be parallel otherwise you cannot observe the diffraction pattern on the screen it will be impossible to observe the diffraction pattern if it is not parallel and the third one is that both the incident and emergent wavefronts are plane wavefronts so what is mean by plane wavefronts plane wavefronts means that uh, since it is sources from infinite distance from the slit so the incident ray that is the uh, rays coming from the source falling on the obstacle should be plane wavefront that is the locus of all points having same phase should be same at a given instant of time and so as the emergent wavefronts and all this is uh, of plane wavefronts only because uh, these are infinite distance from the slit so i hope uh, the basic information about front of a diffraction is clear to you and uh, one more thing you need to know that uh, the advantage of front of a diffraction is in front of a diffraction we uh, just cannot use a single slit like the Fresnel diffraction but we can use multiple slits double slits and as many number of slits you um, need you can use in front of a diffraction so that's the uh, that's an advantage for front of a diffraction so we will study diffraction for single slit and multiple slit in the corresponding videos thank you for watching